Kyle, now kind of going even back to the podcast, you know, why I'm going to change this question a little bit. So I'm going to throw a curveball, but um, you know, why did you elect to, you know, invest in you know, training beyond compliance? So it's kind of the same question, but you, you guys pivoted and made a major investment and took on some risks because you saw, you know, everything that, that we're talking about now, you know, three years ago when you started your, uh, well, it, longer than three years ago when you started your CNA school. Yeah, I, I think it, uh, much to what, what Jeff was mentioning, I, I think early on, uh, shortly after we opened our doors, we realized that the uh, acuity levels of our clients were, were not just companionship level uh, situations. And, you know, if we're going to be out in the community and, and representing home care, you know, we want to make sure that we have staff that are trained and they know how to perform all of the various elements of what it takes to become a successful caregiver. And so, you know, early on in our, in our process, about two or three years after we, we uh, opened our doors about 2008, 2009, you know, we started looking at this, this CNA uh, opportunity. And at that point uh, we were uh, talking to a CNA training school and eventually we, we invested and uh, uh, were able to, to take over that school. But, but we just looked at it and said, you know, long term, this is going to be a very, very valuable play uh, just because we need to have caregivers out there in the field who, who know um, how to perform all of these various levels of care because that acuity level is just growing and growing and growing. And, you know, I, I, don't, I don't think that's necessarily going to change, especially as more and more uh, work goes into the home. I mean, that's kind of what we're seeing is, is I think uh, both uh, Jeff and Brett have mentioned. So, you know, we, you might as well start to look at your processes to figure out how are you preparing for that particular movement because it's coming and you want to make sure that you're prepared and, and you have the, uh, the proper uh, processes in place. Yeah, yeah, perfect. And uh, Jeff, this is, this is an interesting question for you where a lot of your business is in the state of Washington, which has you know, pretty high standards for compliance training. Um, but how would you think about you know, your elevation of training and, the, and the, why, the deeper why to it, and the, maybe the results you've seen from connecting the why to uh, beyond compliance? Sure, yeah, Todd, I, I would say to the audience that my why has evolved a little bit lately. Um, I, I know everybody on this call, I bet the farm that everybody on this call has felt the labor market pressures in 2021. And when, when you look at the Maslow's hierarchy of needs in the fact that we all have the need for some basic fundamentals, security and physiological needs and so forth, um, that's, that's what get, having a job does. You know, it gives you a paycheck so that you can afford the food and, and clothing and, and uh, shelter. And there's a lot of job options out there. The folks that are going to end up working in home care are folks that connect to the meaningfulness of the work that we do. And that means that they bring with them a lot of heart and uh, uh, compassion. And, you know, maybe because of their past experiences, those were very formative to uh, wanting to live a very mission-driven life or, or, or what have you. And I think that that's one of the unique value propositions we have as an industry as compared to the Taco Bells and, and uh, retails of the world. So what my why behind investing into additional training is because if I've got an audience that is connected to the meaningful work of home care, they will also connect the meaning of being invested in. They will feel good about receiving training that only helps to facilitate their mission-driven perspective in providing really good care. And so I think the my why is, is, is driving more towards the engagement with uh, the, the, the population that is now choosing to work in home care, uh, which has evolved. Uh, people have choices of where they want to go to work. And I think if they feel invested in uh, through training, they're, they're going to want to stay with you as an agency. And it certainly is something that not even every home care agency is doing. So it can be a brand differentiator for your employment brand. 